guys, this is a video that you guys have all been requesting for quite some time, especially as the summer has gone on, and that is my back to school haul. Um, I definitely have bought way fewer school supplies than I typically would for a new school year, just because I do have so many stationary items already and I have a lot of notebooks that I plan on using and a lot of the schoolwork and research and things that I do in my day-to-day -day life is based out of like my laptop or my iPad anyways so um, I end up not needing to buy a whole ton of new things all the time. This first item is one that you guys have all seen before on my channel but I did you know get with the intention of like using it for back to school and that is my Pipsticks planner. I am just obsessed with the layout of this. Um, I showed you guys kind of an in-depth um, in depth, uh, I guess, tour of the planner, review, I don't know. I did a plan with me video um, a few weeks ago, and so definitely check that out so you know kind of more about this, but it's definitely the planner I'm going to be using for all of my planning ahead, whether it's on the monthly or weekly basis. The next thing that I have for back to school is another planner, and I know you guys are probably like rolling your eyes like, Serena, you don't need another planner because you already have the one that you just showed us, but this one's really, really different, and it's the one that I probably will be carrying around in my backpack like daily, like in my day-to-day life and that's because I tend to overwhelm myself with writing out very very detailed specific to-do lists and um, I have a lot to do at all times so this planner it's like called the light speed planner and I talked about it in my um, back to school giveaway video which just went up last weekend and um, actually is still going on so if you haven't entered that giveaway and you want to definitely go for it because the winner does get one of these planners. Um, I really really love the layout. It prioritizes three different tasks that you plan to do for the day and that's like most of the planner with some blank pages and then gratitude and goal setting type pages at the end and that's it so it's very much focused on the now and being very very purposeful in planning and wanting to make sure that that's done very efficiently so I'm definitely going to be using this to try to make sure I'm focusing in on the things that absolutely need to get done that day instead of writing out a to-do list for the next like three days worth of work on one day like I might in my other planner but I'm kind of going to try to use both in tandem just because I don't really want to continue bullet journaling to the extent that I did last semester because that did take up so much time and I like the fact that I can plan ahead easier using these two planners. The next couple of items are from a company called Bear and Fig. Um, I love the aesthetic of the things that they have. If you're interested in getting anything, I do have a discount code that I will leave down below in the description box just so you guys can save money in case if you're interested. Um, but the first thing is a hardcover notebook with dotted paper. It's like called The Confident. And I got this gorgeous, gorgeous pale blue color. And the cover is sort of like this woven um fabricy type feeling and it just feels really really nice it has a very bright yellow bookmark and the pages are dotted um the paper is super super thick and feels like it won't have any of my pens bleed through i'll have to keep you guys updated like via my instagram story or something on how that actually goes because i haven't tried it yet i'm just opening it up for the first time and I'm so excited to use it for the school year. I plan on using it for like just miscellaneous lecture notes depending on if I have classes that have professors that um, refuse to allow technology in their lecture halls because that was the case for me last year. And then this other item is actually just a leather like case um, or cover for the blue notebook and this is this really really pretty pink color it's kind of like rosy and I'm just like super super into this combination so I'm excited to have this pairing to sort of house all of my notes that I need for the year so very excited about it we'll keep you guys updated on how I definitively end up using it I have this weekly pad that I'm planning on using for back to school also, um, and I specifically want to use this just for meal planning. So it's like kind of a desk pad. So I'm either gonna keep it in our kitchen if we have enough counter space, depending on how move-in goes, or it'll be just on my desk and I'm gonna use it for like grocery shop 
planning um like meal prep like planning out when to cook what food and stuff like that and I just want to keep that separate from the mess that's going to be my big spiral bound planner because if I think about it I have so many things that I have to keep track of planning wise um just because I juggle so so many engagements um in my life so I I want to keep like my food things separate and I'm going to use this pad to do it. The next three sets of pens slash highlighters are ones that I have used before, really, really love and have had either for like years or definitely enough months where all of mine are kind of drying out or just out of ink. Um, so first I have this 18 pack of fine liners. Um, I actually previously had like a 10 pack of these um, and I got them off of Amazon. I will link the exact one that I have down below because dude, this was $6. Like I paid $6 for all 18 of these fine liners. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, and they're really reasonable and they perform really well. Um, I know like this, I like the Stedler Tri Plus fine liners that you see probably everyone using, um, but those are pretty pricey, especially because um, fine liners tend to get ink like used up quicker than gel pens, in my experience at least. So I think these are very, very economical and they work great. And then I have a refill of one of my packs of mild liners. These are the ones that I tend to use the most. So um, they have already basically run out of ink. So I'm just getting refills on that. And then a refill for my favorite black pen of all time. I went through like two or three of these for my freshman year of college, but they are the 0.38 millimeter Muji black, I think like the, the hexagonal retractable gel pens. Um, absolutely favorite. Love them. They don't smear if you're a left-handed person like me. And um, the it's just very comfortable to hold. And um, the ink is just very, very like fine and it doesn't skip, which I absolutely love and need for my lecture note taking. Another couple of practical things that I needed were just two mechanical pencils, and these are ones that I really like. Um, you guys know that I like the Muji ones a lot, but decided that I really just wanted to get stuff on Amazon really quick, so I got um, these two Pentel ones. They're 0.5 millimeter. I, if you know, you haven't guessed already, I really like um, smaller tipped um, writing utensils, so pencils I prefer to be as small as possible and same for my like pens that I use so these are 0.5 they are really comfy to hold again and I think they're just really really sleek they have number two like lead and they have this like funky like eraser cap that you can pull off and the eraser will be down there and um yeah I just needed pencils just in case if I have written exams that require me to use a scantron because I did have that in a bunch of my classes last year um and I just have like two or three mechanical pencils right now and I'd rather just have like a couple of extra because I like to bring extra pencils with me to exams and then I also have um, a new eraser. This is a Stedler one. Um, I think these erasers are fantastic. They never really smudge and they just get the job done, which I love. So that's what I have for this upcoming year. Next is another practical item, but this one's one I'm really excited for because I love, love, love the color. Um, this is a calculator. It's a graphing calculator that I'm going to need for my calculus class that I'm taking this semester. Um, it's a TI 84 plus CE by like Texas Instruments. Um, I actually already have this calculator in like a mint green color, um, but my brother needs a new calculator and so I thought I'd give him that one and just get this new one because it is rose gold colored and I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous and I also already know that this calculator works really well because I mean, I've been using like Texas Instrument calculators since, um, I was probably like 12 or 13 um, in like middle school. So 
I've always used calculators by them. They're really reliable. And this one's really convenient because I can, it comes with like a bunch of charging wires that I can plug in either directly like USB into my laptop and charge, or I can plug it into the wall if I, you know, need to charge via outlet instead. So it's very convenient. The color screen is really useful when you're graphing. Um, if you graph like multiple functions at once, it will like color code them so you know which one um, is which function if you're like comparing things or looking at a piecewise whatever so love this calculator I'm excited to use it for my upcoming math class because I haven't taken math in a hot second so it's gonna be super useful next I have this small sticky note pad from knock knock these are ones that I use so frequently that I had to repurchase this little lime green one it's just a to-do pad that has four sections that say tasks errands, correspondence, and then some blank space for notes or like additional thoughts. Um, and the header has like a date um, and a thing for you to finish by and like the topic of your to-do list. So I love these. They stick really well. The adhesive is wonderful and I can just like slap it on the fridge, slap it on my like closet door, whatever. They're just really, really convenient for when I'm like in a rush. I just need to like gather my thoughts and like stick it somewhere. Then I have a charging cable for my phone. It's 10 feet long, which is wonderful for around like my room because it'll wrap all the way around my bed or like will reach me wherever I am. I don't know how high I'm lofting my bed so it's really useful for that. Um, I got one last year as part of like my preparation for going to college and so I want another one for like so I have two like one in like our living room and one in um, my room just because I am a fiend when it comes to my phone and I'm really kind of addicted so I just want to have like a charger available in both places. The last few items that I have for my back to school haul are all just kind of like fun things that I don't super super need and they aren't super super productive but they are super super cute so I have them. Um, so I first have this really cute puffy sticker from Pipsticks um, that's like kind of squishy when you touch it. It's like kind of three-dimensional. Um, I'll probably put it on a notebook, um, I think as like part of a cover. And then I have two sheets of stickers, well I guess two and a half sheets of stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. sticker shop. And I love these. I think they're gonna be really cute. I have ones that say like test today and I can just fill in the topic and I can put that in my planner as well as these like pencils that I can write on as well. So they're kind of useful and I can put them in my planner to just kind of make certain exams or assignments stand out. And then I have three sticker books from Pipsticks as well. And they each have like some postcards in the back of them, as well as like all sorts of stickers that you can use in your planner for different themes, decoration, whatever. Um, I figure when I have more time or I just like kind of need to like decompress and like just do like a thorough like planning session I can use these and they're sort of very easily kept together because they're contained in these little books and so they're easy for me to take with me to college just because um if you have a lot of like loose sheets sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything and store it in like a contained manner so yeah that's everything that I have for you guys that I got for back to school I obviously did some more additional shopping for my apartment things like pots and pans, kitchen utensils, um, the girls that I'm living with and I like all kind of divided up that but um, since my channel is more like study focused I wanted to just show you guys like the things I'm getting specifically for my schoolwork and studying rather than sort of everything that I get for back to school because a lot of it is stuff for my apartment. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what else you guys are getting for back to school because I'm always kind of curious about like what things are on people's lists and I hope you guys have a great day bye guys